Dear friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to build our very first machine learning model. Let's start with a quick poll. How many of you think data science is something new? Something that came with the tech boom? And be honest. Well, the fact is, even before computers or algos, humans were already making data-driven decisions. Let me break it down. First came observations. We watched the world closely. Then came patterns. Because our brains are basically natural pattern detectors. And finally, we made decisions, smart ones, based on those patterns. That's Data Science 1.0, the old school edition. For example, ancient people observed the movement of the sun and moon. They noticed that days and nights got longer or shorter depending on the time of year. So they adjusted their routines. Maybe woke up earlier in summer or slept in during winter. They could also predict eclipses. Second example, farmers tracked seasonal changes. Things like the timing of monsoons or how long winters lasted. Based on that, they decided the best time to plant and harvest crops. People also observed how landscapes changed, floods, dry spells, forest growth. From that, they figured out climate patterns and used them to decide when it was safe to travel. They knew that in summers it's time to go to mountains and we also know that. So basically ancient humans were doing raw data collection through observations, feature extraction and pattern recognition in their minds and prediction in their everyday decisions. Yeah, your grandma was doing machine learning just without Python. So what's changed now is that we can make accurate predictions with the advanced tools at our disposal. So the accuracy has increased. So let's take a very simple example. You have got your monthly expenses from January to March. But now you want to predict expenses for April. So what do you think? the April expenses might be. You can pause the video and think. Most of us instinctively take the average. So we can take the numbers 3200 3, Take the average divided by 3 and that's it. You got 3000. You just made your first data driven prediction. So congratulations, that's the human version of a model. And now to sound fancy, here is the mathematical representation of the same pattern, same formula. So your average expense equals to 1 divided by n sigma i equals to 1 to n xi. Now with this formula you can calculate expense of May from the same formula. Just take the average of the 4 months which again came 3000. But wait, is that really accurate? It may give you some approximate figure that average might not reflect reality. If you want better predictions, we need to go deeper. Because as they say, the devil is in the details. So let's list some factors that affect monthly expenses. House rent, grocery bills, utility bills, 
and some of us parties and dining out now imagine you are a recent graduate who just started a job in a new city and your dining out and a party expenses are your biggest budget busters so now let's break it down your monthly expenses have have just two parts so you have fixed costs which is static like rent groceries and petrol they barely change and you have variable cost so like how often you go out so here monthly expenses is your dependent variable number of parties is independent variable does this sound familiar yeah so now let me take you down memory lane I remember this from high school y equals to mx plus c well x is your nothing but dining out number of parties y is your monthly expenses c is your constant which is static so in ml terms if you really look at the same equation can be written like y equals to b0 plus b1x well y equal total expenses b0 base cost say 2800 b1 is cost per party say 100 x is number of parties so if you had two parties in february just plug in these this value and you get y equals to 3000 and if i look at the graph on x axis two is number of parties now which corresponds to 3000 3000 on y axis and i got there from the point on the line so if you look at it instead of just averaging this model sees the trend so your spending goes up with more parties and adjusts the prediction accordingly but wait why do i see regression here you might ask two data points are enough to draw a line right yeah that's true but real world data is noisy and inconsistent so regression helps find the best fit line across many data points reducing error and making better prediction So your best fit line will look something like this. This line will have minimum errors in the model. We will cover in detail in our next videos. So what did we do? We used data which is observations. We got pattern from it and then made prediction. So let's quickly recap what we just used to build this model. Did we use domain knowledge? Yes, we did. We knew party expenses matter more than, say, shampoo. Math and statistics to build the regression model. And computer science? Yes, the scale. So to scale it across lots of data points. Combination of domain knowledge and computer science is software engineering. combination of maths and the sta- statistics and computer science is machine learning algorithms and combination of maths and domain knowledge is traditional research so these three fields together create the magic of data science you don't need to be an expert in all three basic understanding of each is enough to get started so conclusion So what did we do today? Predicted future values, understood how linear reg- regression works, learned what really powers data science, and the best part, you didn't write a single line of code. Just no code. So if this blew your mind even little, 
just wait until the next video where we will actually build in google collab but before that make sure to check out my videos on google collab basics simple math for linear regression and exploratory data analysis if your expenses also go up every month like mine give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more ml tutorials that actually make sense got a question or suggestion i would love to hear from you in the comments till next time keep watching keep learning and stay curious